Hey, this is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Well, the film I'm going to talk about right now is called Tomb Raider. Hey, this is an exciting film. You know, it's based on the video games, but also it was a movie back in the day with Academy Award winner playing the role. Now we got another Academy Award winner playing a role. And this Academy Award winner is Alicia Van Kander. She's playing Laura Croft. You know, at the beginning of the film, they show her, you know, how she's an independent young lady, how she likes to do different things like box. Uh, she's a bicyclist. What I mean by that is she's a messenger and she lives in the East London streets. And, you know, she's just so independent. No boyfriend, nothing like that. But she's just so independent. No one can tell her anything to do. Next, we see. Christian Scott Thomas as Anna Miller. Well, she's like the caretaker of her father's estate and she, she wants her to sign the paperwork to declare her father dead. And so she, Laura Croft, can take over the company. But no, she doesn't want to do that. She doesn't think her father's dead. She wants to have some type of hope, even though she's broke. She doesn't have money. She doesn't have anything to stand on. But she still has that hope that her father's still alive. But of course, she gets some type of clue from her father where she can go look for him. And that's what she does. She goes looking for him and she lands on this island uh, with the help of Lou Ren, which is played by Daniel Wu. Now, I wish Daniel Wu had a little bit more to do. I really like this actor. I've seen him on TV a few times and he has his own television show. But he, to me, he didn't have a lot to do. But when they get to the island, they meet uh, Matthias Vogel, played by Walton Goggins. Man, this guy turns up everywhere, doesn't he? All kind of films. But, you know, he's the bad guy in his films and things like that. So there you go. They get together and they got to find a tomb to raid. That's why it's called Tomb Raider. Now, some of the scenes in action is uh, based on parts of the video game and you'll see that in the film but I just felt the director Raul Yu Chang well I think he just made everything just a little bit convenient too convenient for her to get out of danger in other words I didn't feel the danger when I saw that she was in danger because I knew some way she's going to get out get out of it now Laura Croft is a hard-working young lady and also you can see that uh, Alicia, she really worked hard to get into this role. But again, I just felt that the danger was not uh, that dangerous for her to get out of. And I wasn't sitting on the edge of my seat to say, hey, oh, look out, because everything worked out for her. And you can tell she has a very athletic body. She really worked for this role in this, in this uh, acting role as Laura Croft. But I just felt the film alone itself, well, I just felt it just wasn't enough for me. Uh, yes, I enjoyed the character, and it, it, the film did entertain me, but not enough. I'm only going to give this two palm trees. I'm only going to give this an, as an average film. It's nothing exceptional about it. I mean, that's in my opinion. And I wasn't really thrilled about thrill moments that supposedly that happened in this film. Tomb Raider. Hey, see it for yourself, though. I'm Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. I appreciate it that you watch my review. This is your entertainment ticket. Latest and greatest movie.